my top three exercises for the wrist and forearm is the subject of this video. So hang around and watch what to do. Stay tuned. This is Dr. Shaki from Irvine Spine and Wellness Center, your Irvine Posture, Chiropractic, and Movement Clinic. I did a video on why you should be paying a lot more attention to the wrist and forearm, and this video is about the top three exercises I recommend to my patients for specific issues, either directly related to the wrist and forearm or as a result of wrist and forearm and elbow issues. The first one is what you did at age three months. So you're going to be on your tummy. So do this with me. You're going to be on your tummy with your forehead down. Desiree, maybe you should come here so we can demonstrate here. So Desiree will be my patient so I don't have to be on my tummy and talk to everyone about it. So you're going to be on your tummy <coughs> and your spine is nice and neutral. You're on your forehead. You're your top is nicely relaxed and your hands are right under the shoulder. The elbows are outward and you're gonna keep your spine nice and straight with the barrel engaged. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, make sure you search for breathing exercise to know exactly what barrel engagement is. So press down on your hands. So you're gonna push the ground down and away from you and you're gonna keep the top straight and you're gonna push yourself up to that level. So you just went from three months of age to six months of age. And the reason for this exercise to be so effective is because your wrists had to perform, your elbows had to be performing, and you're engaging the specific head of triceps that you're not used to using when you're, are you getting tired yet? <laughs> you wanna go down? <laughs> You're engaging the head of triceps that you hardly ever use because your elbows are so close to you when you're typing. That head has a purpose. Its purpose is stabilization of your shoulder blades, which is huge in your posture and in the health of your mid back and in return to the health of the lower back. So there's certain ingredients in place. If you have any questions about those and you may want to slow it down or um, I don't know what we're going to do to make sure that those ingredients are right there. The next one is what we call low tabletop. So can we go from a uh, quadruped? So we're going from a seven month position, come back here, so we're very good. So we're gonna go from a, a seven month position, neutral spine, <clears throat> your knees are stacked right under your hips. It seems like you need to come forward a little bit, forward a little bit, there. And then you're gonna push the ground, elbows are not locked. So you're pushing the ground away the same way you got up in that first exercise. And then you're gonna go back with your spine nicely uh, neutral and drop your elbows down. You're gonna glide your neck up. You're going to be pushing the ground away and you're lifting yourself by extending the elbows. You're lifting yourself at the hip joint, not at the lower back. The whole lower back is nicely neutral. That's important. So you're pushing the ground away with that head of triceps and you're pushing the ground away, keeping the top nice and straight and your whole neutral, uh, your whole spine being neutral. And the third one is what we do with, we call that rocking quadruped. So you start on all four, spine's nicely neutral and you're gonna push the ground away, go back and your butt and your legs are gonna, as you're pushing the ground away still, even though you're going forward, you're pushing the ground away, keeping the spine nice and neutral, go forward and go beyond and come back. Thanks so much, Desiree. So by doing these exercises, you're actually engaging the muscles in your body you're not used to engaging. You're utilizing the body parts and the joints properly while the rest of your body is stabilizing itself throughout the move. We're not isolating an area and try to go through range of motion, which is a waste of time. Exercises in isolation will not last, will not do you good. It needs to be in conjunction with the rest of your body moving. If 
this is the whole concept about DNS that if you don't know anything about and you want to learn more, make sure you visit my website. All the information is in the description box. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so you learn more about any other videos that I upload to the channel. If you have any questions, contact me. Let's meet. Let's see what we can do for you. Until next time, take care.